grabbed our gear and headed to the yesteryear village where every house, every room, has its own story, including the Riddle House. There's a lot of spooky stuff that goes on there. There's a, I come here a couple times in the morning and the windows, curtains are open. There's nobody in the house, the doors are locked. Later on in the afternoon when I come by, they're shut, the house is locked, and there's nobody in there. After hearing Richard's terrifying tales, we made our way to the Riddle House. That's her. Hi, Mary. Terry believes Mary came to the Riddle House on an object in the kitchen. Okay, so we're here at the uh, infamous Riddle House on, uh, down in the uh, kitchen area. Stopped. The home's famous attic is padlocked because it's too dangerous to go up there. Well, it's dangerous because it's small. There's the space, you know, you can't get around. And we don't know what can happen if he's up there. And he doesn't want you up there. We can't take that chance. The house is definitely haunted. So Terry and I were downstairs while Rob was shooting upstairs, and Terry and I could both hear somebody on the front porch. Terry opened the front door to the house, and we both heard a man say hello, and there was no one there. Wow. So, yeah. Hi, Joseph. Do you remember us? He's saying hi and bye to Joseph, a former caretaker who hung himself in the attic nearly 100 years ago. We got groups split out all over, investigating with our team members that are in these different um, buildings in the Yesterday Village, and they're all haunted. You got the L Street house, and the woman chopped the man up with a machete. They had his funeral in his home which was right next to the school, so it just makes sense. Alright guys, so this is War Party Paranormal. Eric's filming, we got Joe back here. We're going to be doing the uh, Delco experiment, something that I came up with and the team's been testing. So it's basically a cross between the Gansfeld experiment and the Estes method. The spirit box. I'm seeing like, like, a, like a cyclone. Hurricane? Treacherous night ahead for Florida as darkness begins to fall. Hurricane Ian made landfall tied as the fifth most powerful storm ever to hit the United States. And this is Fort Myers Beach as a barrage of wind and water slammed the city.